Question number 22. In the figure below, OABC is a trapezium. AB is parallel to OC and OC is equal to 5AB. So we have our trapezium here, OABC. Uh, so we are told this is uh, OC is 5 times AB. Uh, D is a point on OC, so we have a point D such that OD is to DC is 3 is to 2. So we have this, is we can put this information here. Uh, this is 3 and this is 2. Actually, we can say this is 3Q and this is 2Q because uh, OC is 5 times AB and AB is Q. Uh, so this is vector and uh, it is uh, important that uh, you put the necessary importance on your figure so that when it comes to working out you'll be able to see that so part a given that oa is equals to p so we have oa uh, ab is equals to q we have ab expressed in terms of p and q uh, ob so this is our ob uh, and uh, to describe OB is to like uh, to describe an alternative route to move from O to B. So we can follow OC uh, to CB. That is one way. We can follow OX. Uh, that is we can follow OA and AB. Uh, so looking at the two ways. Uh, to move from uh, O to A to, and then to A to B is shorter compared to the other one and we are able that will enable us to express in terms of P and Q because already uh, vector OA is a robot P and AB is robot Q so that is how you argue about that so OB is uh, we can say it is the same as uh, OA uh, plus AB and what is our OA? It is P. Actually, we can show the direction of that vector O. So we say it is P plus uh, Q. To differentiate uh, the vectors, we, put, we use this symbol, although it's not a must, but uh, it, is, uh, it is good if, so that you can be able to differentiate between a vector and a scalar. Uh, then we come to, uh, to AD. What is our AD? So our AD is uh, this, so to move from A to D, we use the shortest route, which is AO uh, plus OD. But you find that now we'll be moving against the vector OA, because the direction of OA is this way. Uh, so we can say this is equals to, so instead of writing AO, we say it is minus OA uh, plus OD, which is equals to, OA is P, so minus OA is minus P, uh, plus uh, OD is 3Q, uh, which is equals to, we can write it properly and say this is uh, 3Q uh, minus P. Uh, although you know, it's not a mass that you put all this, but I'm just doing that so that you can be able to understand how I'm getting my final uh, vector. Uh, so we go to cb where is our cb uh this is our c and b so it is to move from c to b so we can move from c to o and uh, o to b uh so uh you find that we'll be moving against the direction of the vector oc so we can say this is uh, this is equals to minus oc uh, then we add to o b uh, so this is equals to OC is the same as 5 uh, is my, I can say it is 5Q so it is minus 5Q OB we already express it up here so we can say it is plus P uh, plus Q so you can put the right terms together so minus 5Q uh, plus q that will give us minus 4q so we can write we start with p and we say p minus uh, 4q so that's how you get the uh, vector cb so that's how you, and then you make sure that when you are answering this kind of question this part is very important because if you don't get the correct uh, expressions here you are not likely to work out part b properly and they are normally like that part b of this question we are told lines OB 
and AD intersect at X. So this is our uh, OB and this is our AD, they intersect at X. As such that AX is equals to KAD and OX is equals to ROB where K and R are constant or constant in that case. Determine the values of K and R. Uh, so to be able to do this, okay, let's first of all put the necessary information. We are told uh, o AX is equals KAD. So we can put our K here and this is 1 minus K. Uh, that is to say AX is a fraction of AD. Uh, so if we say, for example, K is a third, uh, then... Uh, uh, a, a, this will be 1 minus that which is 2 that that's just an example and then we have R O B is a uh, R so A X is equals O X is equals to R uh, and here we have 1 minus R so with that information the trick here to be able to work out this is to express vector O X in two ways we can express O X as a fraction of O B that is in terms of R, and we can also use a OX and AX. Uh, so let's do that. Let's start with the uh, OB. Uh, that is, we say OX is equals to, uh, it is a fraction of OB, as we are given here. Uh, but already we had expressed our OB here, and that is why I mentioned that if you mess up this part, you are likely to uh get uh, zero in this question so we replace ob in terms of uh, p and q so we say this is r uh we put the bracket uh p and uh, plus q again i said these symbols we use to differentiate uh, uh scalars and vectors so you can see here we have r is a scalar uh, and p is a vector so we can open the bracket here and say this is r uh, p a vector and then plus r q a vector so we can leave that one like that again we come now to let's say o x again we can say it is equals to follow this root o a so it is o a uh, plus can still use that symbol plus uh, a x uh, so we already know that uh, o a is p so we can replace that with p plus a x is a fraction k o a d but we already have uh, a d here uh, so so we say it is k we replace a d with uh, that is uh, with that that is 3 q uh, minus p and we can come here and say uh, this is equals to uh, p uh, this is a vector plus this you open the bracket it will be 3k q and then we have uh, uh, here we have a bracket we have a uh, minus uh, here we have k and p so we can put the right terms together that is p and p and here we say it is 1 minus uh, k or this p when you open the bracket you still get this then plus uh, 3 uh, k Q. So we have managed to express AX in two ways. Uh, that is, uh, this is OX and this is OX. So we can actually equate these two and say, uh, since with this uh, they represent the same vector, we say RP, uh, which is a vector, uh, plus RQ, a vector, is the same as this vector, which is 1 minus uh, K close the bracket we have that is our p and uh, then we have plus 3k vector q uh, the two vectors are the same this means that r is we can equate r which is a constant to 1 minus k and we can say r is equals to 3k so we can start with uh, let's say we have uh, r is equals to uh, 3k right so that's correct uh, because they are the scalars or constants of uh, Q uh, and then we say uh, we have uh, uh, this is uh, that is in that is we have used Q uh, then R we also say R is equals to 1 minus K and since we already know 
uh, r is uh, 3k so we can say uh, 3k this is 3k is equals to 1 minus k let's take this 3 to this side we get 4k it becomes positive is equals to 1 uh, this implies that implies that k is equals to uh, 1 divide both by, by by 4 by 4 you get uh, k is a quarter and since r is equals to 3k so we say r is equals to uh, 3k so we say it is 3 you multiply by 1 over uh, 4 which is k you get r is equals to 3 over 4 so that is how you get the value so we have managed to get the values of k and r so that so you get uh, max for that you get max for equating that uh, you get uh, max for equating ox in two ways so that's how you work out that question i hope it is clear and uh, if you are very careful with part section a and then you are able to express ox in two ways or the vector required then uh, this one will be uh, you can practice on questions on that if you have if you, you still get problems you can check on my topic which i have covered uh, that is vectors 2 which you covered in form 3 and you'll be able to answer these questions uh, correctly so thank you for watching